Hi friends, in this final video on the Elliott wave pattern structure, we will talk about corrective waves. As you can see on my screen, to recap, Elliott wave structure is a 8 wave structure where the first 5 waves are known as a motive waves and the remaining 3 waves are known as a corrective waves. There are few rules to the Elliott wave structure which we have extensively discussed and covered in the prior videos. Also, there are two variations of your motive waves known as your impulse wave and diagonal wave which we also we have covered in the previous videos. In this video, we will dwell more upon the corrective wave and the various structures that can be seen in the corrective waves. As you can see on my screen, corrective waves are mostly corrections to the primary trend or the primary motive waves that is wave number 1, wave number 3, wave number 5 which is in the direction of the primary trend. And there can be various styles of corrective waves which can be zigzag, flat or triangles which is what we are going to understand in this video. So to begin with, when the corrective wave is in a zigzag fashion, you would see that the corrective wave will be in a zigzag type of a fashion or a formation. Which means the first corrective wave that is wave number A will have a 5 wave structure, then the wave number B will have a 3 wave structure and then the wave number C will have a 5 wave structure. That is why we will say that the corrective wave whenever it is a zigzag one will divide into 5, 3 and 5 structure in terms of the sub waves. Conversely, in the case of a beer market, again the same structure would be visible and the corrective wave will subdivide into the structure of 5, 3 and 5. Talking about a flat corrective wave, in this case you will see that the correction is mostly in a zone of consolidation. If you can now recollect from the old videos of Dow theory, we spoke about a zone of accumulation, run up and distribution and often when the distribution is similar to accumulation and begins a fresh run up, that zone is called a zone of accumulation as well or a zone of consolidation. So, this corrective wave whenever it is a flat structure will mostly look like a zone of consolidation where the prices go sideways. So, as you can see, whenever we have a flat corrective wave, it will subdivide into a 3, 3, 5 structure, 1, 2, 3 wave number A, 1, 2, 3 wave number B and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave number C. This is a regular flat where these two ends are almost the same and these two ends are almost the same. In terms of the flat structure of the corrective wave, we have two broad formations. One is a regular flat and one is an expanded flat. As the name suggests, in case of a regular flat, we have matching highs and matching lows in terms of the wave A, B and C. Whereas in case of an expanded flat, we have a little higher point on wave number B and wave number C when compared to wave number A. That is why this part is known as an expanded flat. This also subdivides into a 3, 3, 5 structure as we have covered in case of a regular flat. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Finally, talking about the third form of corrective wave that is triangles, we can have various sub forms of triangles. Triangles can be contracting triangles, triangles can be an ascending triangle or triangles can be an expanding triangle. Each wave will typically divide into a 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 formation. That is, if you visualize this further, 1, 2, 3, that is wave number A, 1, 2, 3, that is wave number B, 1, 2, 3, that is wave number C, 1, 2, 3, that is wave number D, and 1, 2, 3, that is wave number E. Do note, we have only talked about 3 waves in the corrective wave, wave A, B and C, but whenever it is a triangle formation, we can visualize this as 5 waves as well. That is why we have a 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 structure. And as spoken earlier, these can be either contracting triangles or a barrier also known as your ascending triangle and an expanding triangle as well. So friends, just to recap, what we have covered in this video is the various forms of corrective waves which can be flat, which can be zigzag, which can be triangles. Triangles can have various formations and flat can also be a regular flat or an expanding flat. I hope you are able to now complete the understanding of the Elliott wave structure by virtue of the previous videos and this video. Thank you for being a part of this learning series and learning with me on the technical concepts and Elliott wave patterns. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you.